ignore my hair. Good morning. Are you leaving them here? No. We are just getting ready to go surfing. Say hello. Hello. He's going to go um, teach a surf lesson. I hope that the sun comes out because it is like really grey this morning. But I'm coming with because I think my ankle and knee is finally scabbed over. And then my enough. motorbike now is so annoying now. <laughs> yeah, our, I think our exhaust is there's something wrong. There's always something wrong with our bike. It's the most annoying thing that you can hear it. Are you taking the exhaust off? Oh my god. But yeah, anyway. I got cut off because we had to head to Melvin's lesson because we were late. <laughs> As always, um, we're never on time. My hair looks like an absolute mess. I literally like chucked it up in my head and then it started raining <laughs> while we were on the ski, like tipping it down with rain. So yeah, we've just got to the beach, but I'm a bit worried. Oh, oh my God, look at the floor. Oh, my feet are all muddy. Um, because of the surf basically i haven't surfed in the last week or so if you saw my last video i um or like the one before that maybe um i fell off the scooter like a week and a half ago and i had like um road rash on my like my feet and my knee it wasn't that bad but i just didn't want to get it infected so i didn't go surfing um god my hair i actually look like a mess <laughs> um <laughs> but then the last few days of it's like all scabbed over that i was like oh it's fine i can go surfing again but i didn't go yesterday and um oh it's just so muddy and gross look <laughs> i didn't go yesterday and um i didn't go the day before and i probably should have because everyone was saying oh my god the surf is so good so clean so glassy and then so i was like i'm gonna go definitely go um today um and it's now super windy and <laughs> it's raining and the last few days it's been like sunny blue skies no wind perfect surf and now the one day I decide, oh, actually, I'm going to get back in the water. Um, I'm actually going to surf again after not surfing for like a week and a half. The weather has decided to not be sunny. I really hope it changes, though. <laughs> I'm really hoping that oh, the sun comes out and the wind backs off a little bit. It's not like crazily windy, but the last two days have been like completely no wind and super clean, apparently. So we'll see. But Melvin's got his student here. They're just on. They've just gone above. <laughs> um, more torn in front but i've got the gopro i might try and um film some clips of his student for him um so she can have some videos of her surfing because filming um like the gopro of me surfing you guys always are asking for clips of surfing but you don't understand how hard it is to film yourself while you're surfing like hold a gopro in your hand if i had a mount on my surfboard maybe but i don't i don't want to put a mount on my surfboard because it kind of is like stuck there forever once you put it on um and yeah it's just really hard to film yourself like while surfing with a gopro i have to get melvin to come in the water and just film me but even then like you don't really get very good quality or like close-up videos it's much better with like a drone or like a proper like surf or like water camera sort of thing but i don't have that and i really we, we did have a drone well my dad had a drone um and he came to visit me and he crashed it in the water and it died <laughs> So yeah, no drone for us, but I do want to try and see. I know that there are people that do drone footage up here to try and see if I can pay maybe to get some drone footage on a really nice surf day. Um, because I do want to put some videos up there of me and Melbourne surfing because we surf like all the time, but I just never like take videos of it. So like there's literally no videos of me surfing anywhere <laughs> online. Yeah. Just got to the beach. It's looking so small. Guys, what the hell? It's looking so small and the sky is so grey. I'm so sad. The surface looks so small. And it was really good apparently the last few days. I think I've missed out. And it's taken a turn for the worse. Oh, that is so annoying. I got my hair, but... <sighs> oh well. Maybe I can just film Melvin's student instead. I might surf a little bit, but take Melvin's. Oh, film Melvin's student instead. Yeah. It's so small. What the hell? But yeah, I'm just about to go in. I'm going to film Melvin and his student. Say hi. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'll try and see if Melvin can get some videos of me. I don't know if he'll be able to because he's teaching. Or I mean, after he's finished teaching, he'll try. 
but it's really hard because I'm trying to get videos like close enough and my GoPro isn't very good like quality but we'll see anyway I'm gonna get in the water see you guys later Got. Hmm? What have you got? What is banana. it? It's not banana. What is it? They call it toron. Oh yeah. Oh, I had that before, didn't I? Yeah, I didn't really like it. We've just finished surfing. We're coming to get some snacks from the shop. Got my hair. Um, I'm gonna go home, shower, have breakfast, and then we're gonna go and have some snacks. This scooter's really annoying me. It's so loud. <laughs> I'm not even that hungry to be fair. What we're gonna have for breakfast? we've got back we eat we've eaten breakfast i'm so tired i haven't surfed in like a week and a half the paddling literally like knocked the life out of me we've just started packing because today is actually a moving day we're moving into our new house which i'm really excited about but i've got so much stuff look at the room right now melvin's apparently packing my clothes I've got so much stuff that it's going to be so <laughs> stressful. Luckily, one of Melvin's friends has a tuk-tuk and he's going to help us move our stuff because I'm trying to fit all this on the scooter. What the hell are we going to do with this? Because I don't want to have to take it apart and put it back up again. Ugh. But anyway, um, we're just going to pack this stuff. Yeah, what has happened? Though? Where it's like got so blonde, it's literally died. But um, <laughs> what's he doing? Yeah, I'm gonna we're gonna finish packing the stuff. But Melvin's also got a surf lesson in a minute, so we, I'm not sure when we're actually gonna be able to move all this stuff. It might be have to be after your surf lesson because he's got a last minute surf lesson booking, so he's gonna have to go to that. Um, and then yeah, maybe after that we can move our stuff. I we'll have to see what time. I think the, sh the surf lesson is probably gonna be like in like ten minutes. So. Thank you, my love, for helping me pack my clothes. Your hair's so crazy. After this shower, you just made it all soft as well. It feels really nice and soft. You use the cream silk in it, but now you're gonna go and make it all salty again by teaching. But yeah, so ignore the fact that our bed's got no bed sheets. We've taken them off to be washed because they're not actually ours. <laughs> they belong to the homestay. But yeah, I need to pack all of this stuff now. My God, I've literally got so much crap. Oh, anyways, I better get started and start helping Melvin, otherwise we're never going to get anywhere. And I'll update you guys once I'm finished. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll, I might actually have to do some work while Melvin's um, out teaching. And then we can move the stuff when he gets back. Right, guys, it's a few hours later. Oh my god, it sounds so echoey in here now because we've just taken all our stuff out. Um, we're nearly ready to move to the new place. All our stuff is gone and it's kind of sad. We've had fun here, but also it's the real nice time of the day the floor's off. Ew. Anyway, um, yeah, we're just waiting for the tuk-tuk to come. And I'm just having my cup of tea. Oh my goodness, the light is so terrible. Um, yeah, this is all of our stuff. Literally so much stuff. Of course, I'm so very glad we have a tuk-tuk, but, but yeah, I'm just waiting for the tuk-tuk to come. It's nearly, it's getting dark soon actually. I've burnt my nose and I was surfing and I've burnt my legs as well. This new sunscreen I've been using. Oh my God, it's not very good. Like, look at my legs, they're so red. The size of them. Oh well. Um, and who are you? Who are you? Come say hello. Shy? 
he's coming looking for our dog milkshake but she's currently at Melvin's son's house um, because he was up teaching we didn't want to leave them on their own so we took them to Melvin's mum when we were both surfing this morning and they've been there so she's coming looking for her look at bless her she's on her heat at the moment um our the older dog milkshake and all the dogs here are literally obsessed with her and it's so annoying having to like get them all off of her all the time but she's getting spayed hopefully on tuesday next week which she's needed done for ages now but it's a relief and we're done so we don't have to worry about all these boy dogs literally obsessing over her anymore but um oy! he's you're obsessing over me you back he's like unsure about me are you not sure where have you come from he's like shy why are you shy <laughs> anyway um hopefully the tuk -tuk, tuk tuk should be here soon because the sun is going down oh and we're having um melvin's family around for dinner tonight because we've just moved in we thought we could put them back well except i thought i offered this idea i said like, yeah we should cook for your family it'd be really nice when i thought we were moving in at like 1 p.m in the afternoon that i'd have all my stuff unpacked and like sorted but now it's literally like 5 30 and we've not even moved our stuff yet that i'm like oh my god why is my face so white um that i'm like oh, we're gonna not have had our stuff moved in or like anything like that or our stuff's just gonna be everywhere and we're gonna have to be cooking dinner and having people around even though our house is gonna be an absolute mess oh well it'll still be nice to have them around um, yeah so it'll be nice to have everyone around for dinner but our house is gonna be an absolute state because all of this stuff is not gonna be unpacked and put away by the time we have dinner because it's literally already half five anyway um yeah it's been a nice day today except we haven't done i wanted to go skating this afternoon i keep saying this in every video but i actually did today i wanted to go skating this afternoon because my like knees better and everything but melvin ended up having to teach so he had the scooter and we couldn't go skating which is a bit annoying but it's fine i've got some stuff done i need to get done and i'm having veggie curry was so that's what i've requested for melvin to make me for dinner tonight vegetable curry i've been like craving it we had one at the snack bar in our local town and it was so good the other day it was like 10 out of 10 um i have to put the name of that place on this video because it's such good like cheap local food if you're ever up in the north um the veggie curry there is so good and they have loads of like um sea log meals and stuff like that anyway um but yeah i've been really craving veggie curry veggie curry ever since then and we never have veggie curry but there's like all the stuff to make it but we never have veggie curry we normally have fish but i was like no tonight i want veggie curry and i want a lot of it because i'm really hungry because we only ate breakfast today we've not eaten lunch and it's like literally half five and i'm starving it's fine i'm stressed i'm like i'm gonna have to move all this stuff and the house is gonna i'm just i don't know if it's just a british person thing i feel like it is because it's just part of our culture like having like neat and tidy houses like not wanting guests to come around when your house is messy you know what i mean like i get stressed at the idea of like having people around my house and it like being a complete mess i don't know i just feel like it gives like i don't know i don't want people to think i'm like a really messy like disorganized person you know um because i'm not i most of the time i'm quite tidy and clean but um i'm a bit stressed that the house is going to be an absolute tip when his family come around but it's fine they'll understand because we've only just moved like we're literally only just moving but yeah on that note I'm gonna see, check up on where Melvin is with the tuk tuk driver and see how long we're gonna be because the sun is going down, it's getting dark, and I don't wanna be doing like these trips and unloading and unpacking everything in the dark. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next time when we are unpacking and cooking dinner. Guys, I'm so tired. Oh Why my god, guys, what happened my hair? And like this. We, um, well, we've not moved in really, we've just dumped the stuff on the floor and said we'll deal with it tomorrow. Why not so long now? <laughs> um, but yeah, we've had dinner. My mum and family came round to eat with us, but that was nice, but we're both so tired now. We're gonna go to sleep and we're gonna unpack and sort the house up tomorrow. But yeah, we like it here, it's nice. A very little place, except I absolutely hate this bedding so much. I need to order some like white sheets or online. Oh my god. Yeah. 
um, I need all some white sheets off of online or something. I hate these, the colour, I don't know, something about like yellow bed sheets just makes me just think they're dirty, you know what I mean? Um, but anyway, <laughs> good night, guys. Good night, guys. Honestly, I'm so tired. I'm sorry, I feel like all my videos are so hectic and all over the place. <laughs> They're just so, yeah, they're just so all over the place and they're not very organised. Mm -hmm. But that is our life here, not very organised. The videos, they're never like, that it's just always I just skip huge chunks of our day oh. out because we're, um, like, busy. And also I guess, I don't want to, I get shy, like, filming, like, in front of, like, other people. <laughs> but I don't. Um, but yeah, we're going to go to sleep now. I'm so tired. I absolutely hate these bed sheets. We need to order some new ones. <laughs> I can't stand this colour. But um, yeah, we can put my. What's it called? Oh, is that spider? It's not that. No, it's not spider. What is it? Yeah, it's. What is it? Let's see it. It's not a spider anyway. That's definitely a spider towards that. Oh, funny. Oh, funny. You can't while it's flying. Uh, um, it's definitely spiders. That is spider. What is that? I can't see me. It's a spider leg. It is a spider. Uh, it's the bug. Yeah. Let's get rid of that. So we can one tomorrow. We need to clean this whole house tomorrow. The only thing is, we, we moved in here. Tomorrow. We can night because I'm so tired. I want to relax because I have a story tomorrow. Yeah. We moved in here. I have a lesson tomorrow, a guys. Yeah, I don't. Oh, I but yeah, but they've not even cleaned the bathroom or nothing. Neither the fridge. I thought it was just the fridge, but no, they had to clean the house. We know, like, luckily we know the person who's just moved out here. We've moved into this house because they moved out. They're one of our friends, so I'm not that bothered because we know them. But like, imagine if you moved in here, and, like you, like this is completely new. You rent your house, and they've just not cleaned it since I opened the last guest. Like, it's still got like hair in the drain plug in the shower. <laughs> I'm gonna have to clean it tomorrow and I have to spend the day cleaning we need to get some cleaning supplies. Yeah. yeah. Order some more light and it's in that spray and stuff. Anyway. Anyway. Okay. We're gonna go to sleep now. Good night everyone. I'm so tired and I'm excited to visit. <laughs> yeah. See you. Bye-bye, guys.